All right, we're back once again for another video after the stellar response of my last one. I figured I'd make another one. Uh, sorry that we uh, aren't really doing much more than just recording my screen. Uh, maybe one day UNICEF will get into helping new people make YouTube videos. But until then, this is what you get. Uh, so this video is going to be about uh, your basic swap parts uh, what you need to get going and first off we're going to be talking about mounts uh, but before that uh, everybody should join up uh, this group the LS Ranger swap group it has everything mostly that you need to know or someone can tell you I would definitely try here first but jumping right into things we're going to be talking about the first generation of Rangers, which is 83 to 97. These mounts right here uh, are highly recommended for 88, or no, for 98 and up. Uh, the second generation suspension things without the twin I-beams. I actually use these, and they required a lot of modification. They used to be 80 bucks too, so the price really went up on these. Uh, like I said, these work for the 98 and up apparently really well, but this is about the first generation uh, truck. So that's uh, so yeah, don't buy these. These these are bad. Uh, what everyone suggests you do buy is these oddball uh, mounts for uh, Rangers, and I don't have any. Uh, first hand experience with these, but I don't like them. They're a weld kit, you have to weld it together, uh, which I suppose is really good if uh, you want to make sure everything is just right, uh, fit and form and polish and all that. Um, but there's no adjustability, no sliding adjustability in the plates that go to. The engine. I don't particularly like that. And like I said, you have to weld it, and it's $129, and it just seems kind of a bit much. What I would like to try in the future are these S10 mounts. Um, they're adjustable, which I like right away. Um, the mount spacing looks pretty close um, to what. I believe would work like I said I haven't tried them yet but at $53 versus $129 uh, it might be a shot uh, to take especially if you have a welder and you can modify them if they don't work you're still going to be saving some money and if you have to weld up these to begin with it just seems like a good idea to me Next, I want to talk about oil pans. I did not have a truck oil pan uh, when I started my swap. So I immediately went on eBay and I bought this pan on the left here. And this pan may work on the 98 and up trucks, but my truck was a first gen with the twin I-beams. And they take up quite a bit more of real estate. And I was hitting um, right here in the front so I got on eBay and I bought a second pan. And as you can see, it gives you a lot more clearance. And this here is the pan. I believe uh, this TSP company sell three different pans on eBay. Uh, they have the dimensions of each pan here in the listing. So if you can go and look at them and see if they will fit your needs. The pan is on the truck now, and it is in, and it fit well enough. I'm not hitting anything. I have a tad clearance to spare. If I could have got my engine lower with better mounts, I would have even more room. So, yes, I highly suggest this pan. Moving on, headers um, are asked about a lot in the group. These fit extremely well, even though they are for an S10 conversion. They fit extremely well, and at $81, you can't beat them, I do not believe. 
if you are not running turbo and you're running NA, you do not need anything more. These fit. It's unbelievable how well these fit. I was very, very surprised. The only uh, clearance problem I did have was on this back tube right here on the driver's side. It hit the steering shaft, so I had to give it a good old speed dent. Speaking of steering shafts, you may want to replace yours with one that doesn't have rag joints and instead uses U-joints, saving you quite a bit of room. This is the one I went with. It is uh, out of a uh, XJ here. It was 58 bucks. You drill out the rivets in the middle there, or the spot welds, I guess. You drill them out, and you're able to cut down the uh, shaft to whatever size you need it to be. It's a slip fit, and you replace your stock one with it. All in all, great buy. But these are what I believe are the base necessities you need to get your engine installed and mounted. And uh, I hope this video helps you guys. I would like to be doing more videos of my actual truck, but I'm lazy and I don't have a camera. And I mean, if you really want to see videos with my phone, you know, we can make her happen. But until next time, uh, you guys have a great night, day, whatever the case may be, and I'm out.